Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Mike, and welcome back to AXC Garage, a channel just built for today's Acura Hondas and all the classics. Today, we have a 2021 Acura TLX A Spec two wheel drive in this beautiful Apex of Blue Pearl. We're probably gonna make this a complete series on some upgrade on this vehicle. So, the first thing we wanna do is possibly get some more horsepower underneath the engine bay on that two liter turbo engine. But before we start, we want to get a baseline and what the stock engine put out. And tonight we're gonna to go to the dyno and get some true number. All right, we just got here in just a few minutes. We'll go ahead and get the car strapped up. We'll find out how many horsepower coming out of this stock two liter turbo. All right, so we got the car up on the dyno now. TJ gonna tell us a little bit what he has to do to get a car ready for the dyno. All right, so um, what we gotta do here is pretty much put the car in VSA maintenance mode so that way we're not activating traction control while we're on the dyno and just locking up the wheels pretty much. So we're gonna put in VSA maintenance mode and uh, that'll let us run free on the dyno without any, any issues. All right, as you can see, we went ahead and disabled the VSA right over here. See it's flashing. So in just a short few minutes, uh, we should be ready to go. So we're back in the shop. Let's summarize the result of the dyno. So the first run we did 238 horsepower. The second and the third run we did 240 horsepower with about 247 foot pound of torque. That's pretty good coming from a stock two liter turbo motor. So now what we're gonna do is let's get into the fun part. Let's go to the bench and take a look. All right, what we have, we have a prototype downpipe from RV6 Performance. Now this downpipe has a high flow cat built in already. Craftsmanship is incredible. All of the products is awesome. Give them a visit on their website. But besides for that, I mean, look at the well, just incredible. Now this down, uh, this downpipe here uh, also have these brackets. Uh, you can actually mount back the factory shields so that everything can be concealed 100%. Uh, also come with a defouler for your oxygen sensors. Uh, this kit they sent us come with the license uh, frame on the back or the front and also some hardware and the gasket. Now the car over here should be a pretty simple uh, replacement here. It does not even look like this intake tube needs to be replaced. I think we can get away by just removing the O2 sensor and the connectors and also a um, couple of bolts here for the shield and it appeared that the downpipe should slide out to the bottom. So let's go ahead and uh, get the car up and get working.
here it is guys we got the prototype downpipe from rv6 performance and we have the oem uh, downpipe i mean look at the size of this catalytic converter right over here uh, now the rv6 downpipe like i mentioned before it is a high flow cat built in within the pipe here uh, one big thing that i noticed huge difference between the diameter here the opening versus the oem one i mean take a look at the size different like i mentioned before the factory shield will transfer to the downpipe from rv6 without any issues Man, I'm wondering how many horsepower this downpipe is going to gain. Comment below and let us know what you think. So let's go ahead and get the shield back on and get the downpipe back in the car.
Wow, this RV6 performance prototype downpipe fits like a glove underneath the engine bay on this 2021 TLX A spec and all the heat shield went back just like it should from the factory. You can't even tell that this thing here has a downpipe. On the next episode, we are taking this TLX back on the dyno to get some real numbers. If you like what you see, if you want to support us, you want to make sure you hit that thumbs up like button and also subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification because this build is going to be epic. As always, thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you guys on the next one.